Frank Darty, and welcome to a little bit of a weird vlog, I guess. I don't really do these often, but um, tomorrow is going to be a really exciting day. Um, I am going to go and meet a few people in person who I've been wanting to meet for a while. I'm going to go, I'm taking a trip up to Baltimore tomorrow, and I'm going to see um, Jack Williamson, um, Garrett, aka Fire Alarm 9200, or Levi the Fox. And then also Save Man 4202 or David. Um, so we're going to be going to a old fire museum. We're going to be going to a fire alarm store in Baltimore called Alarm X. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So uh, right now it's like 10, almost 11 o'clock at night on Friday. And I'm just telling you guys what's going on. So tomorrow morning when I'm done getting ready, I'll make a little bit more of a video. And um uh, vlog for a little bit more, and, um, yeah, there's, that's really it I can think of to say, um, in terms of stuff that's on the system, that's all that's it, or that's all that's there, just that stuff, <clears throat> and it's a work in progress. Oh, also, yeah, with the book bag, it's full of alarms, because that's all stuff I'm going to be bringing and trading, well, not all of it's going to be traded, but... Some of it's going to get traded, some of it's going to get sold, some of it's going to just be there to show everyone, but a good portion of my collection is um, in the book bag. I'd say probably about either, probably around 30% of my collection. So that's really it for now, guys. I am going to get some sleep. I am going to check in with you guys tomorrow morning, hopefully if I remember, if not like when I wake up, but in the car maybe, but hopefully it should be a really fun video for you guys, so I'll see you guys later. Um, so I'm in Pennsylvania right now, um, getting ready to meet up with David. Uh, he should be coming any second now, and uh, we're once we get there, or once he gets here, we're going to meet up for a few minutes, uh, then he's, uh, there he is now actually, he's pulling up right now, so I'm going to say hi to him, and uh, yeah, so see you guys later. In Baltimore right now, we got Jack here, David, Elise, Elise, through the video, and Garrett is nowhere to be found. Garrett's a ghost. Yeah, Garrett like went to the bathroom and just like never came back. So, as you can see, Jack and I are really hard to see each other because there's always each other. Me and Italian, I saw, I'm with the Irish man right here. And we were going to go to the alarm store, but apparently Lee says it's closed. They're closed. Now we're going to do, of course, just our luck. Listen, it's just our luck, right? It's not for fire. Right, the one day we come to Baltimore, they're closed. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, the one day, like, they get the free alarms before we It's okay, I got a WM strobe this morning from him, and I'm getting a ZRS, a Genesis. Uh, what is that other? You know, this is my video, right? Um, Don't care. Yeah, all right. You should care. I'll, I'll cut all the parts of you in and out. Oh, here's Gary. So you're, 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 you're giving me the Zero, the Genesis, the Edward Heat Detector. Alright, uh, right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll check in with you guys later. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're, 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 I just, I got Garrett in the vlog. Garrett, say hi. Everyone wants to see Garrett. Alright. No, no one wants to see No one wants to see you. Anyway, alright, we're gonna eat and then we're going to go do stuff, alright? Check in with you guys later. And look what we find. That's the most beautiful tangle of wires I've ever seen. The one thing I can say about that, that is not my work. Yeah. Jack, what? Well, at least you still don't get trapped in the elevator. Oh, uh, okay. What's this? Uh, what's what? Really? Whoa. What is that? I don't Why know. Look at that. Work? Like, come on, people. Jack, it's not my work. Everyone is complaining about everything. You guys are complaining about everything. Seriously. Okay, guys, we're going. All right. We're going to head off to the museum now. I will record more. Or I'll probably sh show you guys this uh, Garrett's stuff that he brought. So check in with you guys a little bit. And, and Garrett. And, oh, it's just it. Oh, oh it's just it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just you. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that's where you live, right? Where? K Street. Wow, that, is that, that's the best you could come up with. Let's try. I was trying to, dude, I was trying to keep this on a rated, like, E rating. Is that going on YouTube? No, I'm just recording for the sake of recording, David. Yes, it's going on YouTube. David, you're going to have to make me do editing now. Well, I had to do editing regardless, but it doesn't really matter. David, make him edit it. It's okay. Pratt? Like Chris Pratt? No, it's just Pratt Street.
Yeah, Maybe like, you should learn like, to read. Like Chris Pratt. Wait, mom. Oh, no, this way. This, oh, no, this way. Oh. This way. Oh. Look at Jack hit that button. I was just went wait. So I could just wait, Those wait, don't even wait, work. wait. Those don't even work. I don't know why I'm still recording. Jack, have you even started like vlogging at all? Or I've taking video? Alright, buddy. All, I know Garrett and I have done it. I don't I think David was a little bit. Yeah, yeah David's yeah, very excited good. right now. That was a very seductive look you did there, dude. I was kinda of freaked out. <laughs> I'm not gonna record. I'm I know. Record. Well, I was I was making him aware of how creepy it was. Really creepy. What? Uh, what yeah. Yes, guys. Yeah. Garrett's very surprised. Elevator controls as well. Yeah. We a, Garrett wants me to get a picture of. We're getting a picture of what I'm taking. I'm recording him taking yeah. a picture. All right. Uh, I was not expecting to find that. Yeah. And David wants a picture. Check it out of the picture, Jared. Hey, here, hang on, David. I got you, David. I got you. I'm gonna pull it. David, look over here now. Got it. I'm going to pull this. Move out of the way. Be our guest. Pull it. No. <laughs> I wonder if they have any old, like, just other stuff. Here. Go. Wow, that was interesting. We were just kidding. Oh. And they have advanced speaker strobes in here. They have right, really guys, old stuff here. here. Dave is recording. Museum. Garrett, you're gonna record Fights here. No, Garrett, not yet, here. anyways. Jack, Jack, you're wait. Are, wait, are you recording? Yeah, I'm using the camera. Okay, right now. Garrett's the only, Garrett's the only one who's not recording. Not yet, anyways. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, there's a staircase there. I saw BG12L like really high up. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not supposed to be right. No, no, you can get up there. Uh, probably. It might. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah, I see it on the ceiling. It's everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna go pull one of the call boxes. They're call, those are call boxes, right? Yes, they're call boxes. They're call, no, they're text boxes, dude. Oh, I'm pulling this up. Here we go. There is a FCI MS7 AF, I think. Oh, it's green LED. It has a green LED. Where? The MS7. It's got a green LED. Yeah. Hey guys, just be, just keep this in mind. I haven't pulled anything yet. I've never seen one of these in person before. Yeah, there it is. And there's exit side. I love this Funko feature. It's awesome. This is really cool. There's a lady. She's just chilling here. Ugh. Guys, it would be cool if they had like a shelf that showed all like really old no, alarms. Like, like, hey, your friend. Oh yeah, that there's an. A, hey guys, one's on. Oh, no, one's on one. Guys, shh. I hear like a I hear a bell going off right now. Yeah, it's it's the alarm. The alarm. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This is why we're here because I told them about this. We're all fire alarm geeks. Yep. Yeah. 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 I look like fire alarm geeks. We all are. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm from Pennsylvania. New Jersey. Okay. West Virginia. Yeah, we're all from across the country. Wow. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Look. I have. I have that. Oh, there's a game of century here. Can I pull this? Can, sir, can I pull this? Yeah, sure. Nice. Uh, wait. Uh, this is awesome. Whoa, look at this jump. Oh, move, 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 move. Edward, okay, pull. guys, the enunciator yeah, works. The enunciator is lit, lit up. Uh, here, I own this coded pull station, yeah, okay. but I own the I newer version. This. Yeah, guys. Thank you. <laughs> we're, oh my gosh, we're all geeking out, right? Guys, the speaker strokes say alert. They're alert, yeah. alert speakers. What? So they are multi purpose. Oh, oh, sweet. Ready? Wow. I think the only thing I've ever seen here is that one. And I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, and here's the thing, though. We all know all the model numbers and stuff. We're all geeks when it comes to this stuff. You guys probably know more about this room than I do. It, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one of these call centers, though. Never. But. Wow. Is it like screw Wait, sir, can you get the screwdriver down the center? Yeah, I want to turn pulling it, guys. Come on. There. I think everyone here owns oh, a sensor yeah, with me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants to I pull the century. Been... Guys, it's called an enunciator for a reason. Everyone is like... Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. It's so cool. Wow, that's an old one. Holy crap. That's so cool. We're, dude, we're making so much noise right now. This is what we do, though. Oh, sweet, look at this. ADT. All right, guys, come on to Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the most fun I've had in a while. Look, I'm going to do a lamp test. Hold on, lamp test. It's a great idea. What do you guys think? This is awesome. Hey, how are you? You're out of here, aren't you? Right. Lamp test. Oh, all right. Super. Awesome. I, all right, I'm going to give. I'm gonna pull the sensor real quick. All right, yeah. system's all normal, and pull it. And now it is an alarm. Oh, so you have to use keys to silence it. Yeah, Jack, you have to use keys to silence and reset. You need a game wall key to be able to do it. Oh my god. If only one of us had a really tiny screwdriver for the century. David, what did you do? David, what did you touch? Look, this right here. Ready? Watch. Yeah, we're waking the dead right now. Give you a quick demo. With oh, box. give us a demo of the call boxes. We're gonna have to stop. <laughs> Getting them to stop is gonna be difficult. Check it out. Okay. Oh. Which one is that? Is that this one's from my doctor's office. Of You've seen one of those before? No, this is the back building where my doctor's office was. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Look, oh, look at that. Look, they got to work on it. Let me tell them to alert. See, look, it's doing the code as well. It's like printing the code. What's in those old light bulbs? Yeah, wow, those are really old light bulbs. Look, oh, look, SC355. You see, at my school, they have SC355. Let me, uh, let me just check that one. Oh, this is outside of Uncle Jason, the fire station of Uncle Jason was. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, is that one coming? Look, Ma, look, look at this. Uh, this is very fun. I found Josh's call box. This is the graphic announcement. I'm going to stop recording for a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's all. It's like the fire alarm. Yeah, right. It's like. Fire alarm. Is it true? Fire alarm. I don't need to. Yeah. Sir, so. Tell us when to start. No, you can start whenever you want. Ready? We all we all going? Yep. Yes, We're all good. Rolling. All right. Oh. Dad, you touched something. Did Dad touch something? Mr. Doherty, did you touch something? I did, I swear. It might be three, four, four, seven. Oh, three, four, three, four, seven's out there. Oh, yeah, it's, so it's someone out there. Okay. Well, that's it. So basically, all right, someone is standing at location 347. They pull, they pull the box, right? Then it comes across from the register here. You can see it punched 347. You guys know like doing triangles instead of circles? No. So if it punches circles, yellow is round pieces of paper that are falling to the ground. It's a bunch of trash you gotta collect. If it just does triangles, it's just gonna bend back the tape. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. It's, it's like it's like a hanging chat. The other thing that's kinda cool about this is it gives the number gives the number a directional component, right? So regardless of where you're standing in the state in the uh, alarm office, if you look at this tape, you'll you'll fire at location three four seven. So we'll set this dial to be whichever Box number came across our register, which was 347, 347. That says right side. We want to make it say left side, because we want to transmit that number, not that number. So we're going to make it say left side. And then we're going to send one round out to all the fire departments in the city. Oh. You guys are catching me at a bad moment here. This thing wound down, because everyone was pulled away. <laughs> uh -oh. That's all right. And how come this one has circles? Because they hadn't figured out the triangle thing yet. Ah, uh -huh. okay. And you can see there's a little, little ah. trash can here to collect the circles. The circles. See? That's right. Oh, okay. There it is. But what is that again? What is that? So this this right here, this is a register. Okay. That is would have been in a uh, in a fire station. It'll just be at a call desk or a watch desk or whatever. 
And so here, let me let me let me send that back out so you guys can actually see it in action. It's cool, man. This is so cool. This is, this is awesome. You can, you can see you need, this stuff needs to be wound perpetually. That's one of the things of this job. You got to wind everything. It's definitely a labor of love. It is labor of love. All right, let me let me send that round out again so you guys can actually see one of those. You can see on the register. Three, four, seven. All right. Now, I don't think I don't think I actually have a card at this desk for for box three, four, seven. But let's just say that box five, five, five was the one that was pulled. Okay. So the guy sitting at the desk, if he sees five, five, five come across his register, he'll go into his desk drawer and he will find the card with that number on it. That tells them where the fire is. So if you look at the top, it gives you the intersection where the <coughs> box was standing. It also, there are six lines on here. Each line is an alarm. So the top line is the first alarm. So that's, those are all this, all the engine companies, truck companies, hose companies, water towers, every battalion chief, deputy chief, all the people who were due to report on that first alarm. So obviously, two alarm fire, three alarm fire, that means the top two or the top three lines of this card, everyone's on the scene. It's a very big fire. <coughs> Uh, let's say a guy get. Uh, let's say uh, the first chief on the scene uh, discovers that it's a much bigger fire than he thought. So he's going to need more help, right? So he has to pull that. So he's going to say, "All right, I'm going to need a second alarm." So what he'll do is he'll open this up. See the entrance in here. There's a telegraph key inside, and they communicate back and forth using the telegraph key. So he would tell the main office. He would say, "Guys, I I I need a second alarm." So he 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 tap two two. Right, and, and only then, the chief would be able to. And do well, that? well, I don't, I'm not necessarily. Not necessarily. Think, okay. Yeah, but it's. I'm, that's just an example. Okay, I'm sorry. So how long? Then, how long does it take <laughs> to get back to them? To the, he did that, right? How long does it take for them for it to get there? For, for to the main office? Yeah. Oh, they're instantaneously. Right? Okay. No, and so so the main office would go. Oh, okay. So they need a second alarm. So they would tap OK, which is uh, I think two three. So they'd say. So the guy on the scene would go, all right, they got my message, they said okay. So then he'd, he'd close it back up and he'd pull it again. That would be the second alarm. Wow. And then the second alarm would come through, and then the guy in the main office would know that this was the second alarm for location 555. So he would then go over to the transmitter here, he would set the central dial to be 2-2 two, two, to account for the second alarm. And then he'd, he'd have the whatever box number was up here. Then he'd press the button, send a round out, and would say 2-2, two, two, and then it would kick back up to the box number, and it would send the box number out again. So then every fire station in town would have 2-2 two, two, followed by the box number come across their register, and they would know it was a second alarm for whichever box number it was. Box number. And then they'd go, to the, they'd go back to the car, and they would look at the second line for the second alarm. And that would, okay. and that would tell them who was due to report. If it yeah, was, were, if who, there was their, who their was company, gone. yeah, gotcha. you got it. Then That's they'd ring the gong bell and go to the scene. So cool. Wow. Um, and then uh, the, another another one was uh, if they needed way more help right away, they could pull the second and third alarm simultaneously. Same time, guys. That would, that would be here. that would be two, 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 two. He's still presenting. That is so cool. That's pretty much it. Um, you guys can. So this this is uh, this is an older. I think this is a late nineteenth century box. Here. 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 Yeah, this is about this is about eighteen eighty nine. Yeah, I have an old yeah, Edwards coated pull station, but I don't. I think I have a picture of it. And there would have been a pin glass that you'd have to break. Obviously, that's a good safeguard. Yeah, yeah. false alarms. It would have, wouldn't it have the hammer, or did it, you just have to break it with your fist? Yeah, I guess it would have had a hammer. We don't have, you know, one here. I presumably it would, you'd have a hammer or something like that. Leave it to you, Frank. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's fine. We love it. That's these now, these are a bunch of enthusiasts. Yeah. Well, you, you guys will appreciate this. Come here, guys, David. This little yeah, creature. This is uh, this is the original transmitter from the very first fire alarm office in Baltimore City wow. from 1859. Wow. That is a lot. That is Wait, impressive. hold on a minute. That's, that's like 160 years old. Yeah. That is impressive. So wow. this this you can see it's a little worse for wear. 
as are most things. Of course. From 1859. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. For <laughs> yeah, exactly. Old, right? And actually, you can you can even see it, it's still in the office as late as the late 19th century. In that photograph, see it on the, the counter there. Wow. Right there. Yeah, I do. Right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yes. Hey, wow. even though I should know this, because that is Parler so pieces, old. When did, when did Parler Piles first get dialers? <laughs> dialers. Yeah. So it would like automatically call the yeah. police because I know like because like you know mm. back then they only had local alarms and you'd have to like actually right. call. That's why there's, there's good two question. That's why the two I don't know the answer to that question. I should. I can't get over the craftsmanship that oh, yeah. went it's into incredible. to that's make. Why, that's why the two seventy SPO and the technology for the school do. Some of the centuries. Wait. Operator. Hello. Yeah, there's a fire over here. There's a fire. Let me connect you to the main office. I'm getting a picture. Let me get a picture of you. All right. I'm gonna pull it. No, do that. Oh, that's cool. That's so, awesome. Do, do the lamp test. I'm gonna get a picture. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Oh, yeah, hang up. Why'd you hang up? Great. Oh, just... Dave, <laughs> come on. You're gonna let everyone die. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is anyone gonna answer the phone? Frank, <laughs> answer the phone, dude. Oh, right. Hello. Oh, right. Get that on the stairs. Yeah, my man. Yeah. Yeah, my man. <laughs> <laughs> And it's in trouble because Garrett, because Garrett has no resistors. No, it's still in trouble. I hit the button. <laughs> shut up. The troubles. Will you all shut up? Go pull the T bar. All right, twenty ninety nine, eight eighty two. Let's do it. Reset it. And since, once again, Garrett does not have resistors, we can't reset it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's just waving his luscious hair in the air. Yeah, just like sitting there thinking he's hot stuff. Let's start with Farlam 9200. Ooh. All right. And that, is the, and that is the only time I'll ever touch a panel for the next 20 years. <laughs> wow, that was, a, uh, that was a hell of a day I had today. Now, I'm kind of sorry about this part, but I did not get a chance to... Um, show all four of us, or all five of us actually, um, go to the, um, restore after we left the fire, uh, museum, and then after us all saying goodbye, because my phone is really low in storage, so, however, I did get three new things today, um, I got a brand new inbox, uh, system sensor i3, uh, what's the model number, 4WTB, so it's four while and has a inbuilt thermal sensor, which, and also it, um, is a heat detector as well, so it's smoke and heat. Um, I got a ZRS from Garrett, and I got an SHG from David. I gave him, I gave David my, um, what did I give him? I gave him my WM remote strobe, and I gave Garrett my ceiling mount ESC Genesis for this. Um, it's actually a very nice alarm. So I got three new alarms today, so I think I made out pretty well. Um, like I said, I only got this for 10 bucks, and I got this at the same restore that, um, Baltimore Alarms and Fans, or, far, Baltimore Alarms and Fans, or Ben, works at, so, you know, and Ben was telling us, you guys should have waited until I got back, I would have given you guys a discount, but I was like, nah, dude, it's okay, I mean, $10 is actually pretty good for, you know, I three, and I even got a, uh, a dust cover for it, I tested it before, and it works good, I just need new batteries, so, that's really it, um, I really hope you guys liked, uh, all that footage, let me know, um, or, let me know what you guys want to see next, I'm, once again, I'm very sorry for not uploading in, like, a month and a half, and just hitting you guys with, like, this 25 minute video, uh, I will hopefully be doing this again in the summer, uh, with all these guys, and more people, who might come along, and also, um, I might go see David again, probably in maybe a, maybe a month or two, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, it's not decided, but anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed, um, this video, um, I had a lot of fun, probably one of the good, greatest memories I've had so far, uh, but I don't know when I'll be uploading regularly again, uh, I could upload, I might upload a video tomorrow or something, I don't know, uh, I just have to work on a lot of stuff, still very busy with school and all that stuff, so, you know, but, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.